Well, there's just one question on the ballot, but school leaders hope tens of thousands of people answer it. If you live in Sioux Falls, you have about two hours to vote in the school bond election. 60% of voters needed to say yes for the $190 million bond to pass and ease overcrowding. Well, the money would pay for a new elementary school, middle school, and high school, and upgrades to security at existing buildings. Within the last hour, the district said more than 10,000 voters have cast a ballot and about 3,400 people have voted absentee. It's just a yes or a no. Yeah, that was, uh, that was awesome. That was <laughs> Eli Show says it's a big question, though, because the answer will affect his one-and-a-half-year-old son and other children's educations. That's something I have to think about now, so I was really excited to get a vote for something like this. When you're voting for an event that affects kids, it, it counts. Um, we're talking about our future here. At this vote center at First Lutheran Church in downtown Sioux Falls, election workers are seeing a steady stream of people. We're kind of hoping that this percentage on this election will be the highest ever. Bonnie Melbreck says most of the voters have been 30 or older. We did have one little gal. It was her very first vote ever. And she was pretty proud of that. And then we've had several in their, in their 20s. No matter the question you're answering, and no matter what you decide, show and other voters here say it's important to always say yes to voting in local elections. Yeah, because I think it's just like one of those things that could probably snowball, you know, into something national, is being more aware of what's happening near you. There are 13 places you can vote, and you can vote at anyone that's the most convenient for you. To see a full list, we've included a link under the story at kelloland.com. Tune to Kelloland News and our website as we bring you live coverage of the vote and the results as they come in.